everybody a very warm welcome to this week's episode of hidden jewels of soul and disco this is episode number six my name is nadine i'm writing for souldisco.de and as usual this has been done in one take only so if i misspell myself please bear with me this week we're going to talk about um, an album i have a love hate relationship with The singer, obviously, uh, doesn't need any kind of introduction, Aretha Franklin. And we're talking about her 1977 Sweet Passion album. This album is somehow caught between Sparkle, which was a million seller, and she uh, worked then together with uh, Curtis Mayfield, and afterwards Almighty Fire, where she again teamed up with Curtis Mayfield, and afterwards came uh, La Diva. So this one was released May the 19th, in uh, 1977, in the same year as Saturday Night Fever soundtrack was released. So it was disco at its peak. And this album is, every song standing for itself, it's a great song. It's a good song, a very good song. But the whole album is not having really a concept. It's not a disco album, it's not a soul album, it's not a dusk gospel album, it's something in between. And she teamed up with uh, Layman Dozier, I hope I spelled his name correct, and he was um, very successful with Motown. And I kind of had some ex- expectations when I first heard the album. Uh, but, you know, some songs are outstanding and some are lesser, you know, they, they're still very good. But, you know, like I said, it's not having really a concept. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why it was not as successful as they hoped it would be. Um, yeah, let's start with the cover. Here you can see the, the front. This is the, the back side. Can you, I hope you can see that correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the back side of the cover. Uh, this is the original in a sleeve. Nothing quite shocking, nothing quite uh, unexpected and ordinary. Ordinary inner sleeve. Here we have the record. I have the German version of it, so it's a typical Atlantic, uh, a typical Atlantic label from that period of time. That was side one. Now let's enter side two. So why I do have a love hate relationship with that album? I explained that. It's not really having a concept. Uh, let's talk about the songs on it. Um, Break It To Me Gently was the first single to be released. And it was, I think, team up with um, ba, 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 Meadows, Meadows of Springtime. Uh, Break It To Me Gently is a kind of mixture of soul and up-tempo disco. It's a great song, having a great intro. And it was a good choice to take that song as a singer. So, um, Meadows of Spring is is a ballad, a very slow song, which usually is a good um, pairing, having a, an up-tempo disco song and a slow song, but the mixture of these two songs, for my opinion, doesn't fit. So, Break It To Me Gently was the first single and a uh, great song, um, but, well, that's it so far. And the next song on the album is uh, When I Think About You. And When I Think About You was written by Aretha Franklin. And it, this one, this song alone is worth the whole album. It outshines most of the songs. So Break It To Me Gently and When I Think About You are to me the two main reasons to buy this album. If they would have tried to make the same songs or similar songs in the same style then you would have a nice package so you have a mixture of certain songs the 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 third song on side a is what i did for love and what i did for love was many times was covered many times back in the day was very famous love song and it's a ballad song in every way so it's it's nice done but you know, there, there are far better versions than that. Um, it was Many of the songs were uh, arranged by H.G. E. Barnum, and he worked many times with Aretha Franklin. He also 
work with Johnny Bristol and Hang On In There Baby. So he was quite famous back in the day with being the arranger. The fourth song on side one is No One Could You Ever Love, No One Could Ever Love You More. So um, No One Could Ever Love You More is um, an upbeat, up-tempo disco song. It's a nice disco ballad, so um, not disco ballad, it's a, it's a great, very disco-like song. So um, yeah, you can go for that. And then we have a tender touch. Uh, a tender touch is also written by Aretha Franklin, and it's kind of an easy listening song from back in the day. So it, it's not really a disco song. It's not a ballad. It's an easy, it's an easy listening song. And with this, side one ends. So let's get into side two. Side two starts with "Touch Me Up." "Touch Me Up" again is. A disco song. It's a very disco stylish song, so you, you can go for that. It's a nice start for the second side. Usually, or many artists back in the day made side one a, a dancing side where you can, you know, boogie down. And uh, the second side was usually filled with ballads or slow songs. So, it's a kind, it was a nice, um, nice thing to start with a disco ballad. So the second song on the second side is Sunshine Will Never Be The Same, was also written by Lehman Dozier. And it's a kind of upbeat, up-tempo, upbeat ballad, also nice. Um, uh, Gene Page was also in, involved with the horn and string arrangement. Gene Page did a lot of work with Barry White and on some songs, like Break It To Me Gently, you kind of have the feeling that it could also have been a kind of very wide arrangement. So, like I said, Break It To Me Gently and When I Think About You are top notch. Uh, let's get to Meadows of Springtime. Uh, Meadows of Springtime is also written by Rita Franklin. She had quite an input on that one. And uh, like again, it's, it's a slow song, slow ballad. Nothing special about that. You can you can just uh, go with it. The fourth track on the second album is a melody of Mumbles and I've got the music in me. Mumbles is uh, written also co-written by Aretha Franklin and this one has kind of a kind of gospel feeling to it. She also plays uh, play uh, plays key keyboards on that one and it kind of goes back to the roots of her. It's it's a very gospel. Uh, inspired songs so yeah you can you can go with that uh, but yeah the last song on the album is also the the title for this one and it's called sweet passion and sweet passion is again written by Aretha Franklin um, also a gospel inspired song it kind of feels like a gospel song so like I said, it's been not released on CD, but it's each song for itself is a great song. But the album as a whole is kind of difficult. But nevertheless, break it to me gently when I think about you, what I did for love. Um, they're great songs, so you can go with it. You can get the album between five to fifteen euro and give it a try, give it a chance. Uh, you won't be disappointed. So this is the video for this week. Hope you liked it. I see you next week. Wishing you a happy Easter, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and all the best to you. See you. Bye.